Mumbo magic make golden Goliath rise. Magic only lasts a short time, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we have a few seconds here. So, you're going to need to use this. Well, cool. let's zoom out here. There's actually two doors here that you're going to want to kick open with this statue that you can't kick open without it. You can also kick these things. Pretty much invincible as long as you're in this form. So you can use this to kick a little opening there. Then we need to go down. Nope, not done yet. This is kind of a beautiful little world, and it's pretty easy to find your way around. I mean, you'll see in later worlds, it's just, oh my god. Boom. You might otherwise need a drill bill to take care of that rock, but we're lucky enough to have a statue that can destroy, destroy, destroy! Boom. So now let's go inside. This is something I didn't think to do on my practice file. Let's go inside with the statue. Because I think of these inside areas, and I think of a place with a ceiling, which is, like, claustrophobic. There's another move in here. Cool. Well, now we're gonna just walk across this here. Now, as Banjo and Kazooie, you won't be able to walk across this. And you can't walk across as Mumbo or any other form, so... Holy shit! Oh, damn it. I didn't think I had taken that long. Jeez. Well, I need to get back there as the statue, because there's something else I need to do with it. You can do this as many times as you want, you just only have so much time on each trip that you take out with him, so... Okay, we're back, and we are now at the statue form, and we're here with 44 seconds to spare. That's plenty of time. Boom. Headshot, no pun intended. <laughs> Kick this door open, that's what we wanted to do. Now, we're pretty much done with the statue, so we can just... I don't remember if there's a way to turn this off, but I think you just have to wait for time to run out. But in the meantime, I suppose we could take a look around. So yesterday, at about 5 in the afternoon, my first video went up on Machinima. Actually, my not my first video, it was Super Mario Sunshine Part 40. Because people have been asking me, where is that video? And I have kind of haven't really explained very well, but that was the one that I sent to Machinima. They said you could send an old video just to get started, so I sent them that one. And now it's up, so... I'll explain more on that later. Well, Mumbo, you've done your job, so let's take you on back home now. In some levels, there'll actually be two or three Mumbo spots that you'll have to take him to to actually get things done or to change things to make conditions more favorable for Banjo and Kazooie. If I can find a monster around here, I'd actually show Mumbo's attack. Yeah, here's one. You basically press B and you can, like, electrocute enemies to death. Ooh! Man, that's gotta hurt. You've collected a skill stop, Honeycomb. I can't speed this up. Press B to stop your energy bar as close to the top as possible. Yeah, so it's just gonna go... Well... Oh, man! How could I have done that? Oh, my God! Oh. Well, it started at the top, and so I pushed it, and... Well, I hesitated, thinking, oh, I'm going to wait for it to go through the cycle so I can show you guys how it works. But then I thought, well, screw showing you guys how it works. I'm just going to push it now. And, uh, and, then that, and then that's when it went to the first one. <laughs> anyway, jump in the chair. You're done. So let me see. Okay, Banjo and Kazooie are full. Sorry, Mumbo. You'll just have to heal up on your own, I guess. Anyway, the one thing I don't like about this game is like when you pick up Jiggies and Notes, it'll actually show the total, but it won't show how many you have like in this world, so you'll have to go to the view total screen to see what you've gotten in this world, and we only got three, instead of the four that it looks like we have, because one of the Jiggies we got outside of the world in uh, the main layer, Isle of Hags, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so now, now that we've actually created more favorable conditions, we're going to take Banjo and Kazooie out. But I'm going to go the quick way, which is this way. And jump into the river here. Junk ball. Oh, hey, there's a Jinjo. Cool beans. And we'll just head right on over here. Love that talent, Rod Man. Dude! Zoom out. What the hell was that, man? What, am I going to edit out that 10 seconds? Jeez. If you look over here, you can actually see a 
golden thing in the wall, but we can't do anything about that. So I'm just going to go in here. See if we can find out something else. Ah, looks like we got our next move here. This is the move I was thinking I was going to get last time. <laughs> Listen up to what you're told on the edges you can hold. Move along with the greatest of ease. Button B to attack what you please. Nice. That'll be all. Tangent. See you later, jam jars. Isn't that like one of the nicknames that Kazooie gave? That, well, anyway, that move that he just gave me, I just did it now. You grab onto the edges, kind of like Mario does. You press Z to let go. Or A to climb up. Ooh, I see another warp point. Go get it. Once again, these warp points, I can't emphasize it enough. That will get you around a lot quicker. I probably already passed up a chance to use one that I could have used. Ah. But guess what? You're going to need another Globo because apparently there's more than one Mumbo in this game. And in this one, thank goodness you don't have to walk up a flight of stairs to get to it. Big heap, welcome to Little Bear and Bird. I'm Banjo, and my feather friend is Kazooie. Me, I'm a mama, best magic person on island. We heard that Mumbo was the best. Not true, Mumbo amateur. Oh, those fighting words. Them's fighting words. Okay, you have Globo. Want to give to Mumba? Yeah, why not? Sure, I'll just throw it in. Yeah, that's what she said. Magic, ready. Jump in Wumba Pool. Let's do it. What do we got? It's a transformation. So, in this game, it's Wumba doing the transformations. Not Mumbo. Wumba call this Stony. Use control stick. Move and blah blah blah. Yes, and you can do a barge attack. Jump back in Wumba Pool when we want to be Baron Bird again. Cool. Wow, look at us. We're like a little tiny. <laughs> Just like the pumpkin, sort of. Except we actually have an attack, which you can do by pushing B. And, uh, wow. So, can you guess what the first thing is we gotta do with this? Oh, wait. Ooh. Where'd you go? Oh, man, my aim is way off. <laughs> oh, those guys sound like they're in so much pain. Now I can talk to these guys. You couldn't talk to these guys before, and we're just showing a bunch of random letters. Under the strong rocks, find many surprises. So, let's use the warp point. And get back to the entry here. So we can pick up that honeycomb that was by the entrance. This thing is really slow though, so getting around is going to be a pain in the ass, but whatever. This is an extra honeycomb piece! Thanks, Samuel L. Jackson, that's good to know. Whoa! Oh, don't let the darts hit you. I guess we might as well go play kickball. Now while well, I got you on the stony form, I'm trying to think of what else I need to do with this. I was kind of drawing a blank at the moment. Haha. <laughs> Big surprise there, right? Well, I just saw a honey or uh, a beehive. Man, I love how the music changes. Let's see what this stony says over here. Shoot the giant stone ones between the eyes. Oh yeah, that's right. Can actually kill those as Banjo because we too then I guess. So, I'm Banjo the Stony. Can I come in and play? Hmm. I don't know. That backpack looks kind of familiar. Yeah, if you come here as Banjo because we won't let you in. Are you saying we're a barren bird in an elaborate disguise? <laughs> yup, it's pretty obvious. But they're a bit short on players anyway. You might as well go on in. Oh sure, now you let me in. Ooh. Okay, this is going to be fun. This is really fun. And there's also another war point in here. Over here is actually something that I really love about this game is there's areas like this. You can't get in here now. You won't be able to for a long time. But that actually goes to another world. To like the fifth or sixth world, I think. I don't remember offhand where exactly. Welcome to the Mayan Amateur Kickball Championship. You may enter the quarterfinals, but I'd advise you take a little training downstairs. No, oh, that's okay. Actually, the training guys say pretty funny stuff, so I'll I'll go talk to them. What the hey? But I might cut this trip out next couple of times. I don't know. This is the training area, and this is the kickball. You, yeah, player coaches. Let's hear what you got to say. 
Here's my advice, Sonny. Try to come in first. Wowie, well, we never thought of that. <laughs> okay. I reckon you should score lots of points. <sighs> I think we could have worked that one out for ourselves. Yeah. Use the control stick to move. Use Z or A to target. I'm sure we'll soon find out. <laughs> Attack its weak point for massive damage. I don't even know what that's from. Is that like Pokemon or something? I feel so ashamed that I don't know that. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so here goes Kickball. Kickball. 